Hello, Helen here. Welcome to another card in my Christmas 2020 series. This card's a little bit more complicated, but I will have an easier version um, and explain different ways of doing it as I go along. Today I'm going to be using two memory box die sets. One is the poinsettia um, circle frame, which comes with some extra poinsettia pieces in the middle there. And then I'm using the piece um, in a circle dice um, sentiment set that I'm going to put in the middle. Now they have a whole lot of um, die sets that interchange so they have an outer piece, the inner frame and then the centre pieces and you can mix and match them so I'm just going to use two of them today. Now the frame die is a rather big die and so it's going to take a lot of um, the width of the card up but because I'm using the sentiment in the middle I don't really need all the rest of the underneath part of the card so I'm actually going to trim it down so that it's the same size lengthways as it is widthways and that way I can make just a little smaller card. I'm going to start by cutting out the frame die out of the centre of the front of my card. I'm not actually going to use the part that I'm cutting out today, but you could definitely use that. You could just do a very simple white on white card and leave it at that. But I'm going to be cutting it out in a nice green card and use that to inlay into the circle that I'm cutting out. Now to stick the um, frame that I've just cut out down on into my card. I wanted to put some acetate in behind the window to stabilize the the whole die when I come to stick it down. Um, but how I thought about it was that you were going to see the glue through the back. So I decided to cut out another piece, a bit like a card panel that's going to go inside the card and hide um, the acetate. You wouldn't need to do that this necessary, that's just me being fussy. And then when I come to do the um, die cut, the green part that I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a second one and I'm going to stick that on the inside of the acetate so that it hides the glue and the acetate sandwich between the two dies. I'll explain that as I go along. So how I'm going to do that is just to pop in a piece of spare card into the fold of the card and then I'm going to draw around the circle that I've die cut out so that I can place my frame back onto that and get it in the the right um, place. What I should have done is when I cut my die out cut the two pieces together um, and then tried to make sure that the circle was in the right place but uh, the way I do it th this way ends up working just fine. I sort of thought of the how I was going to do the card as I went along.
at this point you could just stick your white inner frame onto the acetate and that's your card finished and it would be perfectly beautiful. I've decided that I'm going to do a bit more contrast so I've cut out two green frames and I'm going to glue one of them on the acetate on the front and then I'm going to glue the other one on the inside to hide that glue um, but I've just got to make sure that I glue the top surface so that the back is showing so otherwise the two frames won't match. Now remember the frame die came with some extra poinsettia pieces. I went ahead and cut out a whole lot of those. Um, I ended up doing one of the main one and two of the one that's just got the three leaves on it. I cut out multiple ones of those and I've already made some poinsettias but I'll just show you how I did it with making my last one. So I ended up um, with my thumbnails just folding down the center of the petal where the score line is um, just slightly just to give a little bit of dimension and I did that with all three pieces and then I glued one of the three leaf petals down on top of the full one with a little dab of glue and then I've stuck the other one alternating the petals and so they all fit in in between each other sort of alternating the petals and left that, those to dry and then I've got all the other ones ready Now while that one's drying a little I'm going to cut out the piece centre for my frame so I'm going to cut that out in red card and I'm again going to do the two pieces. Now this is fairly fine but it is easy to just do the backing just the same as I did with the um, frame die. So the way it fits is it just fits just over the centre inner part of the poinsettia frame. So I glued around that, stuck that down onto the um, acetate. Now I didn't do the sentiment to start with, the sentiment part of the die to start with. I thought I would get away with just the circle but when I came to stick the inside one on I could see it wasn't quite even so I went back and just dabbed a few little bits of glue underneath with the skewer um, under the front of that and stuck that down so that they could meet perfectly.
Now I'm going to stick my poinsettias on the top of where the green ones are in the frame die so I'll go ahead and stick those down and then I decided they looked like they needed something in the centres so I found some liquid pearls in the rouge colour and I've just put a little dob of that into each centre of each poinsettia just to finish it off. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give me a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see when I do my next Christmas card. I'll leave you looking at some photos, close up photos and we'll see you next time for another Christmas card. Thanks for watching, bye for now.